The Viscount Who Loved Me was a book that included the narrative of Anthony and Kate Bridgerton from season two. This book was the second in Julia Quinn's Bridgerton trilogy. Season two of the Netflix romantic series centers on Anthony and Kate's developing romance. Before they started dating, the pair, who had hated one another before falling in love, had a lot to learn about one another and themselves. In the second season of Bridgerton, Anthony has successfully eluded his family's expectations by deciding he is ready for marriage. They fall in love right away when he meets Kate Sharma when they are riding their horses. But their relationship quickly becomes tense when Kate finds out that Anthony has a list of requirements for a faithful wife. When it becomes clear that he is not interested in getting married for love, Kate becomes quite protective of Edwina, her younger sister, who Anthony is wooing. Anthony and Kate ultimately confess their love for one another and tie the knot at the conclusion of Bridgerton season two. In Quinn's The Viscount Who Loved Me, Anthony and Kate trade barbs, jokes, flirtations, and physical altercations often. Their interactions get more heated, just as in the Netflix series. In the novel, Anthony and Kate get married after getting into a controversial situation. But in real life, they don't get married until after declaring their love for one another. And even if they are happy together after marriage, since they are so drawn to one another, Anthony finds it difficult to acknowledge his love for Kate, because he fears he may pass away too soon. He can't speak the words until after Kate and her sister get into a carriage accident. Thus, despite his attempts to keep his emotions for Kate apart from his marriage, Anthony did fall in love with her. He married her out of duty. In Bridgerton, Anthony's decision to exclude love from the marriage is mostly motivated by his desire to save his mother from the anguish his mother experienced with the passing of his father Edmund. He never wanted to love someone enough to endure the same suffering as she did after seeing her anguish. However, he vowed never to bring that same level of suffering to another person. When Kate fell off her horse and hit her head, Anthony experienced something extremely similar. He came to the realization that he would accept the chance in order to avoid missing out on experiencing and savoring love. Anthony's main cause of tension in The Viscount Who Loved Me is similar, but he also worries that he may pass away soon, much as his father did. He can't open himself to Kate and give his heart since this thought plagues him. Quinn's novel has two epilogues, the first of which leaps forward in time to Anthony's 39th birthday. Anthony is relieved to still be alive at the age of 39, and he and Kate are still very much together. Later on, Anthony and Kate have a family of their own. Together, they are parents to four children, Miles, Charlotte, Mary, and Edmund, who has Anthony's father's name. Only Miles is mentioned in The Viscount Who Loved Me's epilogue, but Quinn sent along a family tree with the names of all the Bridgerton siblings, wives, and kids. The year when Edmund is born, 2815, follows Anthony and Kate's marriage. While the exact month of his birth is unknown, it's probable that Bridgerton season three may include the couple waiting for their baby to arrive. Bridgerton season two had glimpses of August, Simon and Daphne's kid, and it is quite probable that the second half of season three will focus on Kate's pregnancy, which is a significant development for the whole Bridgerton family. Together, Edmund, Miles, Charlotte, and Mary make up their four children. Anthony and Kate conclude Bridgerton season two as content newlyweds, and it's feasible that viewers may see further development and growth in their union in future seasons. Quinn's novels are the only ones available at this time. In the second epilogue of the book, Kate and Anthony have been married for 15 years, and they remain fiercely competitive, particularly when it comes to winning the renowned Mallet of Death before the Bridgerton family's yearly Paul Mall game. Most importantly, after 15 years of marriage, Anthony and Kate are still incredibly in love, even more so than when they initially got hitched. They are also getting older together. They continue to taunt and irritate one another the vexation has not abated yet they are still very attracted to one another and engage in flirtatious banter. It seems that Bridgerton's starring pair is enjoying their marriage and has only become better together, which is something viewers may get to see on the program as well. In season three, Kate and Anthony made the decision to prolong their honeymoon and stay apart from their relatives. During the first two seasons, Anthony's whole journey was to become Viscount Bridgerton. He assigned Violet, 
the responsibility of staying away. They departed, indicating that they were not involved in providing for their families during this season. When the second instalment of Bridgerton Season 3 premieres on Netflix, the two will return, but there is still much work to be done to make up for their absence. Perhaps a pregnant plot will upend and solve that issue.